second he was congratulating another team on a good play, you know, being a good sportsman, and then next second he was on the ground. What started as a typical Saturday night football game turned into a heartbreaking tragedy for a Fort Dodge team. 20-year-old Bernard Flowers was playing all out just like he always did. If he could play every minute of the game, he would. He loved it. His teammates called him Bo because he ran like Bo Jackson. He always is the type of guy, you know, you get down on the field to bring you right back up. Bo took a hard hit late in the game. He got up but collapsed a few minutes later. He started going out of it, and then I just started yelling at the sidelines, you know, time out, you know, we need some help over here. And crazy, you know, things just happen in a flash of a minute. To see it happen in front of you is something that you can never explain. It just, it not only tears your heart to see it happen, it just, how could it be that person? Deputy Jim Lester was one of the first people to arrive at the field. When you're uh, responding from over 20 miles away, the, you know, a lot of things go through your mind. Everyone was trying to help, even the other team. They were trying to get everyone calmed down, you know, and they they actually initiated like three or four prayers on the field. There was probably two, at least a couple of times I can think of where both teams huddled on, you know, center of the field type of thing and, and just started praying. Bo's teammates followed the ambulance to the hospital, even though the game wasn't over. His life was way more important than that football game. Bo died shortly after arriving. It's very tragic whenever we lose a life, but especially when we use, you know, lose the life of a young a young person, 20 year old, uh, out enjoying himself on a, on a summer night. And, you know, it's very unfortunate. He was just an all around player. That's why it was so devastating that this happened to him.